today we're doing Poca Moonshine, which is a, <clears throat> a 2200 foot mountain. Um, it's got an elevation gain from here, which is a parking lot of 1,280 feet. Uh, there we go. And there is our trail. So we are going to, Cooper is super excited. He's been trying to run ever since I stopped the car. So we're going to get to it. He's pulling me right now. This is pretty amazing here. It is a giant, I mean, I guess this is typical of Adirondack trails. But it's a giant, like, house-sized boulder. It's crazy how big it is. Help me. See if I can't get Cooper next to it for scale. So there's Cooper. And there's the tra There's the boulder. <laughs> I mean, that's a small one. That's the size of a van. This one's the size of a small house. There's, how's that for a tiny house for you? All right, first set of rock stairs. There's another huge boulder. And another huge boulder. I think this is going to be a theme for this trail. This one's really cool. It's got a got a tree going right down the side of it. And there's another massive boulder. All right. I'm going to make some headway here. All right, so this is slightly off trail. But look at this massive mushroom colony. It's just, it's taken over the end of that lock. That's really cool. Poca Moonshine has two separate trails to the top. The Ranger Trail that I'm walking here goes almost straight up in a series of switchbacked rock steps, as you can see. The Observer Trail is a lot more gentle, taking 2.4, 2.5 miles to get to the top, but it ran through a swamp. This was the beginning of July, and the mosquitoes were pretty bad at this point in the year, so walking through a swamp was not on my wish list. We took the shorter path, which was arguably a little bit harder on the legs, but got us to the top quicker, and the views were spectacular. These rock stairs are hand cut on site by volunteers in the Adirondack Park. Cooper took these stairs like a champ. It had to be hard on his back legs and his hips, but he was running up the stairs. I could barely keep up with him. You'll hear later in the video my panting, and unfortunately it was uh, a large part of me being out of shape and just the pace that he was setting was incredibly fast. This section of the trail was like something out of Lord of the Rings. Giant boulders thrust up out of the ground and these stone stair steps wound around them. It was beautiful. The sunlight coming through the canopy of the trees was orange, as you can see on the ground here. And everywhere it touched, it made little fire drops on the ground. All right, I'm winded. This dog doesn't understand how to walk, so he has to run. And he's trying to sprint up this. But look at this massive cliff. Poca Moonshine Trail is actually used by cliff rock climbers um, because of the cliffs. And the unfortunate thing is this time of year, uh, the trails are closed, or the climbing trails, the rock climbing trails are closed because there's a nest for peregrine falcons. Um, I think that's what that black stuff up there on the cliff is. It's like, maybe, hard to tell. There's more up above. So that might be bird poop from below the falcon nest. But it's so cool. And it's amazing how 
trees and bushes and stuff cling right to the side of these rocks. These are super steep. All right, I got a lot more stairs to do. I had to stop here. I don't know whether these are natural. They look like roses almost. Or I don't know what kind of flowers those are. I'll look them up later and I'll put the uh, description in the video here. All right, we're at uh, stop five. I think there's eight stops along the trail. And this is slightly off trail, but it's there's a path here. Stay. So there's like a little rock with an observation platform. And I can see why the views here are beautiful. And we're already getting into, starting to climb out of the deciduous forest down there and up into the pine forest. But we're most, we're part way there. Maybe halfway. It's beautiful though. It's been raining a lot. And so all of these little rivulets are running. Luckily they provided bridges. And that's the real color of the light. It's beautiful. This is gonna be a challenge for Cooper. Chippy. Oh, I scared him. Let's see if I can catch him here. There he goes. Up the tree. Right up there. I don't know how close to the top we are, but look at this view. Lake Champlain. I think that's Lake Champlain, pretty sure. And then those mountains. Over there, under clouds, are the uh, Green Mountains in Vermont, I think. I'm not an expert, but look at this giant slab of rock just sticking out. And then the views from here are amazing. And Cooper is ready for a break. Coop, sit. All right. Stop. So, this is where the trail split. This is the ranger trail we've been taking that goes down uh, one and a half miles. And this is the observer's trail that goes 2.1 miles. And then there's this Adirondack lean to, which is really cool. I don't know if it's, it's got a, it's got a, uh, fire pit here. Sit down. I'm assuming you can rent this out. It's really well made. It's a little worse for wear, but it's at the top almost of the mountain. I believe that we are almost there. Um, where these trails join, it should be a very short distance to the top where the fire tower is. I didn't realize this was here though. This is cool. And you can see everybody's left their mark. Years and years and years of people carving their names in, burning their names in, writing their names on. One thing I almost didn't notice about this Adirondack lean too is there is a little privy hidden around back. So if you need to uh, do your business, you can take care of it right here at the top of the mountain. All right, I believe we are very nearly at the top. And already the views are pretty cool. Zoom in a little bit. Hopefully, what is our last set of stairs? But it is, it's a good long one.
we are finally, after many scrambles, at the top. There's the fire tower. And here is the view from the top, but we're gonna go and take a break here, get some water. And then we're gonna do our final crawl up these stairs, if I can get Cooper to take them. Look at this. Come. Come. This is amazing. Cooper, if you. Sit. Sit. It's Lake Champlain. On the other side of that is Vermont. Let's get the rocks in here for perspective. And those are the Adirondacks. Well, second mountain in the Adirondacks. I am on the top of Polka Moonshine. It's about 8.30. In the morning, I think I was at the parking lot at about 6.45. Uh, my plans to get here early um, were not great. <laughs> Need to get up earlier, unfortunately, but there was nobody on the trails. I was the first one here. Um, since then, I've had just two people, two or three people um, come up. But as you can see, the view is spectacular. So, two down, many, many, many more mountains to go. This is interesting. Just a random stone foundation here in the middle of the woods, almost at the top of the mountain. Walk over there and see if I can get a good shot of it. So it looks like it was, I don't know, it's a fireplace, absolutely. But the foundation doesn't look big enough for a house, unless it was a super tiny one. It's cool, very old. Looks like it's hand laid. I would not have wanted to carry the materials to uh, mix mortar all the way up here. This is like yeah, a mile. It's almost at the top, like the top of the mountain is up there. So it's almost to the top of the mountain. Hold on, let's see, there's a sign here. Oh, okay, Poco Moonshine Observer's Cabin. Fire observer lived in this cabin as he or she carried out duties on the mountain. The main cabin was built in 1936 and burned down in 1993, most likely from a lightning strike. Interesting. I guess you don't need much if you're just staying up here. All right, back to the trail. There's our little... There's our little lean-to over there. I missed this on the way up, but there is a natural seep, it looks like, that they've turned into a spring here. Pretty deep pool. And then it just runs out down the side of the mountain. Cooper's helping himself to a drink. Dude, where are you going? Ah, it's beautiful. 
Thanks for following along with me in the Adirondacks. Like and subscribe if you'd like to get notified when I put out new videos. Thanks again for watching.